There's no way that California is still in a draw. I'm like, oh, hi, welcome to my house, you know? And this is what you see. Imagine me being able to renovate with my mind, like, without lifting. Oh, I really want that mirror, but I don't want to pay for the $300 delivery charge. Very excited. I've dreamt about this for a long time. You ready, Kinsley? guys the sun has decided to peek through it's brighter out and i've changed and got dressed i had a really 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 exciting meeting today <sighs> about something you know you'll know soon enough but it's very preliminary but i'm very very excited i've dreamt about this for a long time making some lunch so i got ordered these containers meal prep containers on amazon i didn't it says that you can use it up to 10 times i thought they were like they're kind of like to go good to go containers i thought they were going to be more like reuse forever which i think you can i don't know actually it says up to 10 times i wish they were more substantial but romeo meal prepped for us last night hi chicken quinoa and uh, a mixed veggie. So I'm heating two of them up for us for lunch. And we have like three, three days worth of food. And before my meeting, I was just like working on the computer. I made like a little mood board for our guest bedroom. I will put it in. So I found some similar items to the ones that were in the room. You know, you guys know I thrift shop and go to flea markets and a lot of the stuff that I put in there was secondhand or vintage. Uh, but I was like looking online this morning and I found similar items that you can order online. Uh, some of the stuff was new, like the bed frame and the bed skirt and the pillows and the bedding. Um, but the art, the table, the lamps and the vases were all secondhand. So I wanted to find similar items or those items online. Oh, and the rug. I found the rug online, you guys. I got it um, from Home Goods, but um, I looked online and I found it on Overstock. That's the best rug. I love it. So we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna head to, um, we have to run some errands today to figure out this Sunday's uh, video that I'm gonna start working on. I have a few ideas for different things. I definitely was gonna try and uh, paint the kitchen cabinets and I think I'm still like in shock from doing it before, you know, like doing so much in the kitchen that I'm just like, do I wanna do that? Do I just wanna sit with it? I also would love to find some new hardware for the kitchen. My mom mentioned, she was like, I think that they sold those in the 70s and they were like one of the cheapest ones you can buy. She was not impressed by the hardware. I think you didn't mind the hard, you don't mind the hardware in the kitchen, huh? I don't mind them either, but if I paint the cabinets dark, like I want to, you're not gonna be able to see the handles. So it might not work. Romeo loves to vacuum and Kinsley hates the vacuum. And together they just make a crazy couple. Like, why? We'll go on a walk later too. You ready, honey? I'm ready. You guys, running errands in the rain, not fun. You know, like it's wild. There's no way that California is still in a drought, right? Like we've gotten, well, let's check because we've gotten so much rain. This is not why you live in California for rain. Like <laughs> you live in California for really, really good, consistent weather. Like you're always on vacation. Do you know what I mean? Not rain. I think I read somewhere that we've gotten more rain from than Seattle, which is, is insane. Large parts of the state are now free of drought. We had to come back after errands and stuff because I got a very special delivery of something that I've had my eye on for a while, which I will show you. It's just kind of like picking up this area. I have to pick up some stuff in the bedroom too because when Romeo does my clothes, he just leaves them on the dresser and then I put them away 
I haven't, I haven't put them away in a while. Uh, so <laughs> I'm so glad that all of the boxes from moving into this house are done. Like that we've actually moved and it's completed. Like everything has a place. Everything's where it's going to go. There's now I know what decor I have so that we know what we can buy and what fits places and, and curate and, and find some things over time that we're gonna love forever because that's what I love to do with decor. Like really, really happy about that. I also got some other boxes that I want to open with you guys um, because Fable, a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. They sent me their tableware and flatware collection, their plates um, for this house and I love our set in Texas. So I wanna open those. I opened some to, so that I can see the color because I got up. Uh, I got a color. I know, that's wild for me, huh? And I'm wearing, wearing yellow. <laughs> like, I've been incorporating more color into my life lately. You know, in the right ways. Okay, if you guys have not heard of Fable yet, I've been raving about the ones that we have in Texas. A beautiful off-white with little specks in it. It's, it's gorgeous, I love it. We have like the mugs and the dinner plates and the salad plates. I am so happy to share it with you because their transparency and craftsmanship and quality of their products and the care that they take from everything from producing them to shipping them, they're just all around, like even the little notes that they put in. Would you rather be able to time travel or move objects around in your mind? A conversation starter for dinner, you know? I would rather, wait, in my mind? With my mind, with my mind, not what, in my mind. <laughs> I can already do that. With my mind, I would wanna move objects, 100%. Imagine me being able to renovate with my mind, like without lifting, or I would have to, I don't know. Anyways, overall great company, I absolutely love them. And I got, we probably already saw it, I got a color and I'm in love with it. They have beautiful colors that you can pick from to match your decor. This house specifically was giving me a very primary look. I'm wearing yellow, so that's a primary color. Uh, the flooring is all this like rich rust red. And I just saw navy. Now, don't look at the cabinets in here, please. We are going to tackle the cabinets when I get over the shock and, and exhaustion from doing the cabinets in Texas. but. Imagine these painted really dark. Imagine these, let's say, this color with these plates. Just like bringing in a very deep, rich contrast. I loved this color and they just launched, after I got these, they just launched Desert Tan. I think that's the color. Desert Taupe, I'm sorry, Desert Taupe. Look at this color, you guys. <gasps> It's like a rich, deep, uh, kind of like the, the bedding that I put upstairs. It's a very like rich neutral. Um, it's beautiful. It goes with everything. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's such a pretty color. As I was saying, like transparency on their website, you can actually go to their about page. They are very, very, very transparent about costs of producing such an amazing quality product and also how their pricing compares to others in the market, like high quality. All of our plates, are different. It's not like I can't set a table. I don't even have a full set of anything. So I have this, these different, different colors. And I have these, <laughs> no. So I, I knew we needed them for this house and I knew it. we were getting to a point where I wanna have dinner parties here and you know, I wanna be able to set the table with really pretty dishes and, um, and we just didn't have any of that here. So I'm, I'm so, so grateful that they sent these to me and I'm just so proud to have them as a product part of our home, truly. So if you're moving into a new house or you need to upgrade like us, they have their dining essentials that you can get in the, um, the all the plates in a specific color. And then it also comes with their flatware. I got gold. I'm very excited. I've always wanted a gold set. Ours, uh, occasionally I'll get the spoon that kind of got put into the garbage disposal and it's a little rough around the edges and it, it hurts my mouth. We needed an upgrade. Look, look at this. Imagine the table. Imagine my shirt is the lemon tree outside and this is the setting for a beautiful spring dinner at golden hour. Can you picture it? I can picture it. It's happening. I'm very excited. Dinner plates, the salad plates, which is 
this size, the pasta bowls, the breakfast bowls, the 20 piece flatware set, so four of each, and also the short and tall glasses. So if you're looking to upgrade your tableware or get a few pieces here and there, if you had a really sad collection like I did, you can get 10% off site-wide with code XO McKenna by going to their website and I'll leave it linked in on the screen for you so you guys can check them out. They're really, really, really special. Their craftsmanship is, is top notch. Uh, so I want to get all these cleaned up. I want to get those plates out. I also want to get some extra shelves for kind of like how we did upstairs, uh, how I did the shelves for my DIY supplies. I just need to get some, I guess, wood. Ooh, maybe I can use the wood that I had left over. I saved it. I saved everything. Okay, so let's get these washed and put away. You look outside and give a young It's just another boring dome The sky looks gray on nevers bound the floor Okay, so you, can you see and hear that if I just had one more shelf right here and one more shelf right there, I'd be able to separate the dinner plates and the salad plates, you know, each, you'd be able to pull each one out and then pasta and then bowls. Bowls I have over here cause they just don't, they fit in here and I just don't want to stack too much on top of each other um, because then it's a hard time to get them out, you know? So I think two more shelves in here will really do it. I just have to match this tone of wood. That's gonna be the tricky part is matching the wood because it's, old. <laughs> I've had some challenges matching old wood. Just You just don't want to open it and it'd be like a totally different color in there. I feel like that would be super weird. Anyways, okay, I got all that put away and the dishes, the rest of the other dishes put away. Um, put these in the laundry and I will show you something else that I got. It looks brighter on camera than it actually is in this room. It's really just at the rain you know okay something that i got is in the bedroom but i have to put these clothes away first because it's not going to give you the full effect so hold on this was something that i've had my eye on for a while but i kept hesitating on ordering it because of something specific i'll, I'll tell you about it and then i'll show you it's a mirror a floor length mirror that I've been wanting, that I had my eye on, that I probably mentioned to you guys when I was doing this space, that there's the perfect spot in this room, which is right where you are, for a floor length mirror. And we don't have one anywhere. Like, you just look at your whole outfit, you know what I mean? So I had my eyes on this one from a website. I went on there, I was so excited. I got like a coupon, new homeowner coupon in the mail. And it was like for 10% off or something like that. And I was like super excited about it. So I went on there and I put it in my cart and it was even on sale, a little bit on sale. And then it like went up in price, like a lot. And I was like, wait, 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 what just happened? There was a $300 delivery charge, 300. And I was like, why? I was like, is it, is it the size? Is it because it's a mirror? You know, like, do they have to take extra precautions because of it's, you know, just like overall dimensions and stuff? I don't know, I, I, I hesitated and I was like, no, 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 I'm just, I'm just not gonna do that. I'll try and find one vintage, even though I had been looking for a vintage one for a while. I started looking for vintage ones. I even went on like some auction sites for some estate sales and I just really, yes, they're beautiful, but like, how would I get them here? And then when you, auctions are a whole nother animal. If you've ever looked at like estate sale auctions, you have to, it's charged a percentage to the auction house, which ups the price by like 25% or something like that. It gets hairy really quickly. Not to say that it wouldn't be worth it if you find like a really cool piece, but like, really? So I hesitated, I didn't buy it. Then I came, I went back to Texas. I came back to LA, I saw the coupon again on my desk and I was like, oh, oh, I really want that mirror, but I don't want to pay for the $300 delivery charge. I went back on the website. I'm like, let me look at it again. You know what I mean? And this had been like months. You know, like, I'm like, let me look at it again. 
let's see what it's all about. So I went on there and this mirror came, I know I'm like this build up, you're like, just show me the mirror. This mirror came in three colors, came in black, gold, and silver. And I wanted the gold one. You know, I love gold. The black color was on like super sale. Like even more sale than when I had originally seen it, the gold one and everything when they were having a deal. And it was on a lot less sale. And then I had my coupon too. So the sale on the black one ended up kind of taking care of the $300 delivery. You still had to pay for it. I'm just like how I rationalize it in my head. It ended up taking care of the $300 delivery charge. And I was like, I think I'm gonna get the black one. If I end up wanting it, in gold later or like a brassy color later i could always do that to it you know like a diy or something so i ended up coming out ahead it not only took out took care of the 300 dollars delivery charge but it also ended up being totally cheaper than just the regular price before the delivery charge later so i ended up coming out ahead so i ordered the black one and now that i have cleaned up my mess i can show it to you <laughs> you ready kinsley <gasps> I love this mirror. Can you, you can, I can see. Like, look how much space we have. I know, Kinsley. So this is the black version. You see how it's, it's stunning. It's beautiful. I actually, Romeo was like, I actually like the black one more than the gold one. I'm glad you got this one. And it was like a lot cheaper. And look at all the detail. It's kind of like the, you know, it's reminiscent and I think a better version of the one that everyone loved from Anthropology. And it was like, oh, you know, like this ornate kind of big mirror. This one has a little more like character. It has like, I think, if I'm remembering the Anthropology one well, it's got some prettier detail. Now going through the $300 delivery charge experience, I mean, they brought it here, they scheduled a time to deliver it, they took it out of the box, they wore shoe, it's like white glove delivery. It's like they put little pads on their shoes, like little, um, you know, those little things that you put on your shoes. They put those on, they came in the house, they put it exactly where I wanted it, let me investigate it to see if it was okay, and I signed and it was done. So I get it, but you know what I think that this company needs? The option, like, Maybe they've had a lot of problems, I don't know, with mirrors breaking or something, I don't know. But I feel like that's an outrageous delivery. Like if I hadn't have figured out how to save more and like be thrifty about it and get the different color and wait until it was on sale and have the coupon, like I wouldn't have gotten the mirror. So, but I do love it. I'm actually very glad that it all worked out because look at this mirror. I love it. <laughs> love. So those are my two really exciting things new additions to the house and I'm very excited the front room is definitely still really empty I just feel like like look at this like pretend you're coming over to, well I just put all these boxes too in in the living room but pretend you're coming over to hang out with me it's raining but I'm like oh hi welcome to my house you know and this is what you see when you walk in like that's not cute. Like, it doesn't look like we live here. Do you know what I mean? Like this is, or ignore those boxes. I just put those there. Those are from the plates, but I need to recycle them. But like, this is, this is it. You know, now when you get back to the other area, sorry for, excuse the mess. This is real life. Uh, when you get back to this area, it looks like we live here. I have a lot of ideas too. I've, I know that we're not going to do any renovations in this house for a really long time, but I have a lot of ideas. I have um, ideas to turn this into a dining room and make a new hole to the kitchen and expand that and like renovate, like like extreme renovations because we do want to do the kitchen and the bathrooms eventually. Um, but that could be a long time. I mean, I could be having a family uh, by that time. You know what I mean? Like that could be a while. And that's why we bought this house is because it was very livable, but this can't stay an empty room forever. So I think I am gonna do some things, like really be smart about it, try and incorporate some really versatile items or something, I don't know. I don't know what to do, but I have like a gallery wall that I could kind of do there. You know, maybe get a rug on a budget for in here and put some furniture. <laughs> no, it's just like not. It's not, not, not good, not, not good to welcome you to our home or, or to even, not even, let's, let's not even think about, you know, like you could say like, oh, why, why are you thinking about other people? No, like, let's say like when I come home every day, I look at that room and I don't like it, you know? So 
I'll start shopping online and see if I can find some things. I, we got really lucky with the rug that we found for the guest bedroom. Um, I really didn't want to invest in another like vintage rug that's, you know, quite expensive and finding that one for like 500 was granted. If you've never bought a rug before, rugs are expensive, especially ones that are wool and not just like a printed like flat pile uh, in that size in an eight by 10. So it's a larger scale. So I was really lucky to find it at, at, at Home Goods and um, you know, maybe we'll look up, get lucky again. Maybe we'll keep our eyes peeled for it for one that we can use. I need to measure. Let's measure how big. Should we, you wanna see what kind of rug we need? I know it definitely would need to be smaller than this one in here because you walk through the walkways. Probably need to be eight by 10, honestly. No, let's do eight. Eight. It's like it needs to be in between an eight by 10 and a five by seven. It like, because otherwise, an eight by 10 with 10 foot kind of encroaches too far into the pathway, you know, walking from the front door in this way. So kind of like in between-ish. So that's good to know. You know, when I'm looking, I'll, it's it's hard to find an in-between-ish on, on an adventure, you know, like that, like at a, a home goods or whatever, but I might come across a weird size that just, really really works it's kind of stopped raining now but it's probably gonna start again i think this was the last day it was supposed to rain this week because i need to work on some projects um so i'm gonna work on the computer for a little bit yeah, we've been going to flea markets and stuff and i have a flea market that i'm going to this weekend you know but i haven't really been looking for things to flip necessarily more so things that i like to like keep as they are more vintagey decor, so I've been pretty picky, but I can keep my eyes open for some things that need some upcycling. I would love to find a few furniture pieces uh, that I can like flip. Uh, that would be a great thing to do on a budget for the entry. I want like a sideboard or something for the, like an entryway table. I'd love a sideboard. I'd love some kind of coffee table. I'm always on looking on brown coffee table, but I did find those brass ones that could be a coffee table. So I'm always open for you guys to give me ideas about what you want to see on the main channel, um, things you want to do here on the vlog, uh, podcast ideas, all of the above. And don't forget my new podcast episode is, come I did not hit delete on the podcast that I recorded about budgets and things so it will be out tomorrow i'll put in a teaser um a very highly requested episode and highly anticipated episode i think is budgets costs you know going through this cottage renovation i had never done it before you know and so we've been through a lot we've experienced a lot we've built in a time that was really hard financially to build because everything was much more expensive during the pandemic. So it, you know, we went through that. And, and so some of my prices that I got and what things that we had to pay might, and I know might be a lot higher than what they would have been the year prior or even now. So this has been a highly anticipated episode. I'm actually really excited to dive into it because I've asked you guys a lot of questions about what you wanted to hear in terms of how we set our budget for the cottage. Did we have a budget? What was it? Uh, was it all worth it? Uh, was it worth DIYing all of this this much? And so I'm gonna work on the computer for a little bit and um, I'm thinking I'm gonna read tonight. I feel like a rainy day calls for reading chapters in my book. I'm about like 150 pages in already. I've been kind of reading on and off just a few chapters. So we'll work for a little bit and then we'll do some more things. <laughs>